for a new TV show, and I accidentally clicked buy now and bought the entire Soprano series for $240. I already owned it. My heart sank. But I was able to contact customer service, and they were able to refund my money with no real penalty to me other than my time. Blockchain transactions are different. I work with a team of freelancers, and every week I pay them in cryptocurrency. My hand hovers over the submit button every time. I'm afraid that I'll enter the wrong account name or the wrong amount. And there is no undo button. There is no cancel. It is permanent. How can we ever expect wide-scale adoption of blockchain solutions when users have to take on such a huge risk? We can't, not unless we offer them a solution and a bridge that is safe, familiar, and easy to use. Instead of a bank telling you that you can only take out $200 per transaction at an ATM, a Chestnut account puts the control back in your hands so that you choose your own spending limits or transaction thresholds. Let's take a look at how it works. First, a user would come to our account and log in, and then they're ready to set their first rule. We're gonna choose a spending limit of 100 EOS per day because I don't think, nor do I want to spend more than that. I'll go through a quick review process before it's added to my dashboard. Now, I need to send a freelancer 90 EOS, and that user's account has already been added to my whitelist, so when I go to submit the transaction, it's successful, as we expect, because it's within my spending limits. Next week, I go to send the same person 100 EOS, but I accidentally added an extra zero, and so that transaction is rejected, as we would expect, because it fell outside of my security parameters. A Chestnut account is easy to use and hard to crack. You may have heard of a smart contract, but Chestnut is the first smart account. A smart account is a permission-based account that allows the user to set their own limits, like number of transactions or whitelist and blacklist accounts. And any transaction that's submitted that falls within the user's security parameters is automatically accepted and added to the blockchain. Any transaction that falls outside of the user's security parameters is automatically rejected and will not be added to the blockchain. Initially, we plan to launch with two tiers of accounts that are subscription-based, and both will offer customer support with one offering even an account recovery service. In the future, we have an exciting offering of a custody solution that we believe will enhance growth and scalability. We plan to first launch on EOS, but we have our eye on the larger blockchain community. Not only that, we see a future application of Chestnut that spans across the entire internet, anywhere a user's account is at risk of being compromised. Currently, there are four billion internet users. How many of those people do you think would be interested in a solution that protects their account? Even if it's less than 1%, we see this market opportunity of revenue in 2021 up to four billion. Chestnut is the first smart account solution and it's built on EOS. And our team is uniquely positioned to drive this key infrastructure forward. With our intense passion for blockchain and back leveraging backgrounds in finance, engineering, marketing, and design, we also have experience bringing solutions just like this to market, from initial conceptual design, through the production phases, all the way through to building a sustainable business. Our first step is to work with our security partners to have our smart contract audited and then we'll continue to expand on our product into other blockchains and beyond. Let me leave you with this. Imagine a world where interacting with blockchain is as easy and intuitive as browsing on the internet. Perhaps so much so that users don't even know or care that they're interacting with a blockchain. This is the first step towards better protecting user accounts. And remember, a Chestnut account is a hard account to crack.